Trevor coming off a very uh, uh, tough loss in his last start. He doesn't have in the lineup like he used to. Mm -mm -mm. Struck him out looking. And in his career, two and two against the Indians, but this guy uh, has very good stuff. Delivers, Lindor sends one high in the air, deep to left. Jones is back, looking up, gone to the bleachers. And the Indians strike first, Lindor's first home run of the year. Pokes this one to right center field, and that's going to get down and one hop the fence. He's on his way to second base. Keep going. He's going to keep rolling. No, he pokes on the brakes just as he got right on top of the bag. He decided to hold up. So it's a double for Kipnis. Jason Kipnis in scoring position last night. Infield in. Chopped the first. Cabrera with a backhanded stop. And Kipnis hesitated. Now they've got him in a run down. Ball gets away. Kipnis will score. Hicks throw. Hit Candelario in the glove. He just didn't catch it. Second only to the Red Sox and starters earn run average in the hole cut off by Ramirez goes to second for the inning ending force the Tigers leave them loaded the 2-0 Roberto shoots it in the right field and he's three for three in the series. Homer's 0-1 make one bangs it in the right field that's a base hit and Roberto can go to third. So Indians at the corners with nobody out here in the second inning. Roberto and Tyler with back to back solid base hits in the well, right I'll field. I'll tell you this offense swinging it tonight. And he ropes one in the right field. That'll score Perez. Nick went on his way to third. He's on his horse. Sarbaugh's going to wave him home. The relay is over them. Cut off man's head. Nick when scores without a play. Lindor drives in a pair. It's four nothing Cleveland. One more hit. Ramirez sends one high in the air, deep right, back is Castellanos at the wall. He leaps, it is gone. Jose Ramirez with a two out, two run homer to make it six nothing Cleveland. Cabrera back off the glove of Bauer. Lindor's there. Taking the base. Throw hit. out Miggy, and that's out number two. Martin moves to third. Fastball up the gut and through, and the Tigers are on the board. Yeah. Castellanos with a two-out RBI single, his fourth run driven in on the year. And he lines one in the left center field, a base hit. Cut off by Martin, but on his way to third is Naquin. Did that hit him? I think that it did. hit something. Got him on the arm. Yeah. I, it, it, either that or I was going to say it was the bat, so it got him on the arm. Bases loaded, nobody out. And a base hit in the right field. That's going to score Naquin. Zimmer right on his heels. He scores as well. All the way to third goes Lindor, and it's 8 1 Indians. These numbers from last year in 28 games at the big league level. Popped him up. Third baseman, Canelario. Dropped the ball. Oh my goodness. I mean, right in yeah. his glove, and it just popped out. So, another opportunity for Brantley in the 3 2. Oh, boom. Right field. Castellanos won't get it. It's off the wall. Lindor scores. Kipnis on his way to third. Brantley stands up with an RBI double. Swung on and missed. Good breaking ball. They've got enough to deal with, right? 2 2. Swung out and missed. He tied him up. 95 mile an hour fastball. Swung on and missed, and that's six K's for Trevor Bauer. Did he go? Yes, he did. Jeff Nelson raising the right hand. That's seven strikeouts for Trevor Bauer. Here's the one two. Swung out and missed. So Roberto retired two away. Yes, he did. He went around, and that'll retire the side. And, uh, and it, you know, if you listen to the interview, in Trevor's own words, he said there's some nerdy stuff. What a play by Bradley Zimmer. All out diving effort in right center field. And he pulls it in for out number one. Now a 1 0. Slow curveball, base hit in the left center field. And scoring is Martin to make it 9 to 2.
And that's going to end this incredible streak in which the Indians had given up one run or less in five straight games. Nick Goody will come on for the Indians now and pitch here in the eighth inning. Trevor Bauer went seven, two runs, seven hits, walked two, struck out seven. Right field. Make one trying to cut it off, can't. Goes to the wall, and John Hicks has his first hit. Nick Goody with a 2 1. And a ground ball to second. Gonzalez corralled it but couldn't come up with it cleanly. Yeah, it ate him up right there on the backhanded side. So first and third with one out. That they can help with the Brian Shaw situation just as much as anyone else. To left field, that's going to stay fair. It's going to get a run home as Hicks scores. And Iglesias goes to third in the second with an RBI double as Dixon Machado. To left field, Geyer back. Shy of the track pulls it down. Joe Jimenez is the third Tigers pitcher of the night. The 3 2. Yeah, popped it up. This one is down the line, slicing, reaching in. Did he make the catch? Yes, he did. What a play by Jacoby Jones. That's a heck of an effort. Yeah, he, he uh, got over. Refused to give up on it. Dyer grounds one towards right field. Cut off by Machado, and he makes a dynamite play. Yes, he down. did. Nice play again. You know, Nick Goody hadn't pitched in uh, six days. Goody hasn't, or Belial hasn't pitched since April 3rd. Tribe playing well. Tomorrow being Friday night, Blue Jays coming to town. Hoping to see a big crowd here for the weekend. Smash to Lindor on one hop. He snares it and throws him out to end the ball game. That's pretty fitting the way Lindor has played in this series, especially from the defensive side of things. But uh, tonight, going back to last night, he's starting to pick it up offensively now. I'll tell you what, he had, he made some really nice plays. That ball was smoked too, and he's able to put a glove on it. And they have a one, two, three inning. So uh, you know, again, the offense very good. Bauer, another good start. Uh, it was nice to see. They came out early. 